Good evening, students. In last class, we have studied about electric potential due to electric dipole. Today, we will start with few potential surface. What is equipotential surface? Equipotential surface is the surface on which potential at each point is same as known as sample surface of a sphere will be equipotential if charge is placed at the center of a sphere. So these are the equipotential surface for a given charge and the positive or negative because potential on each point is same. Very importantly, we need to remember that work done in bringing any charge from one point to another on equipotential surface will be zero. Let's see, we have a sphere. At in the center, I have charge Q. So, the surface of the center will be, surface of the sphere will be equipotential. And work done for bringing a charge from point A to point B on equipotential surface. That will be W A B will be equal to V A minus A B into Q and that will be zero because V A equal to A B potential is same. Next we have potential energy of a system of charges. Let's say I have a reference frame x and y axis. With the reference to this reference frame, I have one charge Q placed at point P. Let's say the charge please Q1 another charge please at R2 that is Q2 at R2 Q1 at R1 this point is known as P another is Q a vector connecting both P and Q will be known as R12 vector we have to find out the potential energy of this system of charges. Okay. We'll do it step by step. First, we bring human charge from infinity to two point P. We bring human charge from infinity to The work done in bringing Q1 charge from infinity to P point is W infinity P and that will be equal to C because, because there is no external P exists or against which the work need to be done. Now the Q1 charge is existing and it is creating a field and due to which there would be a potential. So this charge Q1 produce a potential in space. And that potential is P1 and that will be equal to 1 upon 2 pi epsilon naught into Q1 upon R1 I. 
here r1 i here r1 i is distance of point i from from q1 now if we are bringing the next charge q2 from infinity to this point then how much charge we are doing because there is existing potential okay that is v1 existing field so we will work against this field and we will do work so work done in bringing charge q2 from infinity to point q or r2 see the diagram q charge q2 we are bringing from infinity so work done work done is is q2 time the potential at r2 due to q1 so the work done work infinity to q will be q2 v1 same will be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 upon r12 where r12 is distance between p and q you know the what is v1 from equation 1 we are putting the value and we are getting equation 2 since electrostatic force is conservative then this work get stored in the form of potential energy of the system. Okay, so since an electrostatic force is conservative, this work get stored stored in the form of potential energy of system. So the potential energy, so the potential energy of the system of two charges Q1 and Q2 is U equal to W infinity to Q that will be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r12 we can write this as k q1 q2 upon r12 very importantly potential energy of any system is a characteristic of present state of configuration is does not depend on the way the state is achieved okay it is not how you achieve the state it is a characteristic of present state of configuration. So this will be the potential energy of a system of charges. Now what would be the potential energy of a single charge in an external field? We can work on that as well. Potential energy of a single charge an external field will be given as Q into VR ok that means single charge Q and VR is the potential due to external field at a given point R VR is potential due to external field at given point. Next class we will study about potential energy of a dipole in an external field. Then we will start with the capacitance. Thank you.